Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, a double clink. <laughs> <laughs> double clink for double episodes. Yeah, I love that. Welcome to Movie Bitches, RuPaul's Drag Race, season 14, episode 14 and 15. <laughs> We are almost there to the grand finale. I don't believe it. I honestly don't either. No. I was waiting for them to be like at the reunion and Rue just be like, and guess what? We're starting at the beginning. You're all here. You're Bring all back my girls yeah. so we can crown cornbread. <laughs> but anyway, first things first. Yes, shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month gets you early access. $10 gets you access to our viewing party. <laughs> That was good. Second thing second, shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink. Go to trywink.com slash moviebitches. You get $22 off your first month of wine. Or I did see a thing that it was like, oh, you save $50. Or it was like some 40% off. I don't know, whatever it is. It's basically just, it's a good deal. If you go to the link, it'll tell you what the best deal is. We're really selling this one. I, it's... But the, there's a link in the description. Mm -hmm. And that follow that to your best deal. Yes. You pick the wine that you want. Oh. It basically it depends on what, how expensive of a bottle you get. Great. So you could save more than $22 on that first month. Anyway, <laughs> third thing's third. Make sure to subscribe, share, whole. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Now that the season is ending, you have to make sure that you subscribe so that you get to see all of the, the fun things that we're going to end up doing eventually. Um, so I'm excited. You know, everyone seems to be excited about the House of Gucci review. I'm excited to watch movies. Exactly. And to talk about them. It's because very it's, exciting. We haven't had the time. It's very exciting. Yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> go watch X. Go do it. Just go, go watch it. So Would I like it though? No. That's what I thought. Yeah, I couldn't put you through it. But, I saw the, you posted on I our did, Instagram and uh, I was like, oh, I guess I should watch it. And then I was like, no, this does not seem I should have written, go watch this movie, unless you're Andrew. <laughs> you would, you'd be okay. You you would survive. Sure. But it's, I had a fun time watching it, thinking about you or someone like you watching it and how uncomfortable it would make you. And then that made me laugh. <laughs> Great. Because that was, that's, um, that's a fun part of the watch. Anyway. Love that. Well, I'm also very excited to see everything everywhere all at once. Yes. Michelle Yeoh. In. That's, a, that's all I need to know. Yeah. Is Yeoh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeoh's all I need to know. That's silly. That's cute. That's, that's a shirt. That's a sh shirt. Uh, for her merch store. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway. Wow. Episode 14. Teen. Everyone has walked in. I don't remember. No one went home? Or no. D D Daya. Daya and Georges went home. Deja. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and Georges did go home. Uh, that's true. And they were like, final five. Yay, top five. And top we're like, five. okay, great. We're going to get down to four. And um, nope. <laughs> Angie, completely unprompted by the producers. Obviously. Um, completely on her own without being prompted by a producer, obviously. Was like, hey, let's count everyone's wins. How many does everyone have? I've got three. I have yeah. two. I have two. I have one. I have one. Truly, truly rude that Willow has only won one. one challenge. That was the real shocker. Yeah, she said that and I was like, I'm sorry, huh? Wait, what now? <laughs> because I, I mean, and that's kind of what I, we talked about this a little bit, I think, last episode. But I just don't understand what they're doing. Where I'm like, right. she's been in the top and clearly to me she could have won several many episodes. Yeah. And yet instead they're like, oh, Bosco will give you this comedy win or the roast or whatever. Right, like, right, ah, right, right. That's a choice, I guess. It's weird because they're, I love Bosco. Yeah. But they are actively editing her storyline to make me resent her. Yes. And I'm really confused by this choice. Yep. We're going to keep saving, but also vilifying her. Right. But also saving, but also you suck. <laughs> and it's less like, what are we doing? I don't. I don't get it. Me either. Uh, it's not setting her up for success. No, and that's what's frustrating. And you know, it was really sad, I think, jumping ahead to the reunion, mm. but like to see how different queens have had different experiences. Sure. Uh, you know, poor Daya, just like you could tell oh my gosh. she has had some shit, which is so stupid. It's so dumb. Please don't send hateful things. You can right. say judgy, bitchy yeah. things. Yeah, we've, we've had our share of bitchy things to say. Don't send direct hateful things to people? Anyone. No. Right. Awful. Yeah. Anyway. I mean, I feel like we're preaching to the choir because we're very lucky that we don't really get that. Yeah. 
We fostered a good community. Thank you yeah. for being kind and bitchy. <laughs> and you can yes. say bitchy stuff to us sometimes. That's fine. Yeah. But it's not hateful. No. Generally. Yeah. Once in a while, we'll get a comment that's like, he's gay. <laughs> gay! <laughs> and it's like, okay. The sky's blue. <laughs> always actually really funny to me. <laughs> me <too. laughs> I'm just like, yes, you've stated a fact. I think Thanks. my favorite one of all time still is too American gay for me or whatever <laughs> it was. <laughs> he sounds too American gay. Well, you hit the nail on that. <laughs> Be gay as fuck. It'll take you places. And then yes, the music kicks in, the engine turns on, the flags start racing and um, they're, they're pulling Willow's prosthetics off it was like some kind of weird body horror like brazil i don't it was like there's some movie under our skin well no what what was the uh, moldavar movie the skin i live in the skin i live in words that are coupling of words like that but under yeah. our skin was that horrifying was the, lyme disease documentary oh i thought that was the scarlett johansson that's under the skin oh maybe something anyway but there is I've been trying to remember what it is. There's some 80s or 90s children's film that I watched a lot where the kids are sitting around watching some gross old, maybe it's like Twilight, Mrs. Doubtfire. Twilight Zone episode. And they're, is that where, it was it? Where they're playing with the clay. Okay, oh my God, thank you. Oh Ugh. my God, that's disgusting. Thank you. Yes, it's Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh. That's Most revolting thing I've ever seen. That was really. I was like, I know what it is, but I cannot place it. Yep. And they're pulling the clay. Yeah. yeah. Ugh, and there's little kids watching yeah, the black. Yeah. Oh, thank you. We're his goddamn kids, too. Chew. Yeah. She's like, that's oh, disgusting. Thank yeah. you so much. Yes. Really, I'm glad that I was able it was to help. weighing on me, and I was just like, <laughs> what is it? It was that. Anyway. Also, though, I loved someone did the uh, Batman and Robin and was like, Willow, are your lips protect against female charms or whatever? What did you say? Something. I don't we'll remember. We'll put the meme up. I don't know. Whatever the, the chapstick that yeah, Chris O'Donnell pulled up. Exactly. I loved it. Oh, boy. So the episode truly starts. Yes. Rue comes in and announces that the maxi challenge is you have to rec wait. You have to write a verse, record yep. the verse, learn choreography, design an outfit, perform in a music video, <laughs> go tic -tac to a tic-tac lunch. lunch, wear your heart on your sleeve. Yep. Uh, anything else? Get a get a 1600 on the SATs. Yep. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, they changed it though. Isn't it higher now? They, 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 I think they changed it so it was 2400. And, and then they got rid of that. They oh, were they like, did? Oh, okay, okay, okay. No one cares. It was like a writing thing. Right, right. I had to do it. Just go win the Nobel Peace Prize. Just yes. all of it. It was a lot. It was so many things. I was like, oh shit. But it is the last episode. Go for it. Sure. But just Sure, um, except honestly, I really think the Tic Tac lunches oh, need to go away. Get rid of it. And the talk to your younger selves. Get rid of it. And what I really liked about this was that they had them design uh, the outfits that then it someone else like would you make. You said a y outfit. These out y outfits. The outfit. Me outfit. Me out Remember that? Oh, yeah. But anyway. Yeah. Oh, cute. I'm feeling like very like structured cat suit. No panties and corsets. I love this idea because this is something they will actually have to do, except we didn't see them do any of it. That's what I was so angry about. And then they were like, we're now going to judge you not on the design that you came up with, but on the fit and finish of the thing that we made for you. And I'm like, what? And I was confused about like, did they get to pick the fabrics? Because that no, would be they, an interesting thing. Because they were all thing. the same. They were all like lycra. No, but they weren't because I mean, like they weren't. Daya's leopard looks oh, so much so more good. expensive so good. than like the fucking. Well, I don't know lycra. why everyone else decided to dress like they were in like a teen superhero. It was very like squad. Xenon Girl of the twenty first century. Very strange, with varying degrees of success. But yeah. It was very strange. I guess it was based on that. George Michael's Too Funky video, Catwalk celebrates that rare. I was going to say George Michael. Like George Michael. Boy George. Boy George. Michael Jordan. George Michael. Wait. Oh my God. Oh my God. Boy George oh my God. Michael Jordan. <laughs> like that. Remember <gasps> that game Chain Reaction? Did yes. You ever watch okay. <laughs> Answer, please, Marissa. Cock. Yeah. I did watch that. I loved. I loved Game Show Network. Is Game Show Network time. still on? I think 
I should watch it. I really should because like give me some match game oh. and some pyramid. Oh, and card some, sharks. Uh, did you see the Hollywood squares of Gilbert Gottfried? Oh Everyone God. was posting when he died. Gilbert Gottfried died. You didn't know. Oh no, oh, I didn't know. Yeah. Did you ever watch that documentary, Gilbert? No. It's good. Okay, great. It's really. I was it's remembering. Like, um, his major role in the aristocrats. Yeah, well, yes. And I was like, <laughs> so there was a lot of that going around, <laughs> around too. Oh, oh okay. But yeah. Well, yeah, but Hollywood Squares. Okay. Oh my god. Well, so then it, there was this one silly one. I mean, they were really going on. But this episode was boring. <laughs> they had to do eight hundred things. Who cares? Let's talk about <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey. Yes. There's one. There was a clip where two contestants. He was center square, right? He, no, he was the top right okay. corner in this one at least. Okay. And that was what each of the contestants needed to win. And so neither of them could get it because he just kept fucking with them. <laughs> and then he'd be like, "You fool!" It was like really great. You'd be, they'd be like, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with him." You fool! It was great. It's like really hilarious. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Having a child. I disagree. You fool! <laughs> no, I know this. Trust me. Trust me. Uh, this is rowing the Atlantic. I'm gonna agree. You fool! <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey for the yeah. win. That's fun. Yeah. But anyway, what where were we? Were we? About? Game shows, chain reactions, Michael Jordan, Boy George, George <laughs> Michael. <laughs> the video. We don't know if the outfits were meant to look like the video. Because well, they or showed not. a clip and it, it did sort of have those bright colors and sure. stuff. But I think it was a mistake. I think so. Because they they took aside from Daya, Daya, Betty. Yeah. yeah. Diabolical. <laughs> Diabeatrice. Diabeatrice. What, what did you call it? Diabetty. Diabet no, Diab Di be a these. I don't remember what she called her, but I, I still <laughs> like her. Hebrides. What are those aisles? Oh boy, this season really, um, is it the Hebrides? Yeah. With that movie? Um, I think it's where that really great Michael Powell Pressburger oh. movie takes place. I know where I'm going! Exclamation point. That's what it's called. It's a really weird wow. title, but it's a great movie. Great. Does it start off, welcome to Ireland. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> welcome to Ireland. My name's Tony Riley. I'm dead. Now a double feature of Wild Mountain Time and House of Gucci. I don't think oh. I'd make it. I don't think I'd make it. Oh my god. You would come out just talking like a crazy person because you'd you, it You'd would be, be talking like Sean Connery in Highland. <laughs> yeah. I'm Egyptian. I'm not Spanish, I'm Egyptian. You said you were from Spain! You're a liar. You have the manners of a goat. And I'm 800 years old. I'm a honeybee. I'm just the little honeybee. Like it would just go all over. It would be a mess. Uh, oh right. Well, so Rue walked in to announce it all. His suit, the little like red gems, kind of looked remember. like Hal 5000? 2000, 2000, 5000. From the movie 2001, Hal 5000. 3000. No. I don't, you know, anyway. I'm on record. I don't love that movie. I don't either. Um, beautiful. Yes. Gorgeous. Yeah. I uh, really Too like long. the opening. Um, important. Yeah. Uh, in film history. Mm -hmm. um, not my favorite. No. It's, you know, also, I hate the end. I hate it. It's just so pretentious and um, too much. It's too but much. But maybe at the time. I'm you sure. You know, I think if I saw it in 1968, yeah. 69, I would have, yeah. maybe my head would have exploded. Maybe. But now I want to watch Scanners, and I'd, I'd rather watch Scanners. Um, wow. We got to stay on topic. Right. So they have to write verses. I loved uh, Willow. Maybe I'll just scat. Oh, and I was like, if she, she came in and like, just did a Kim control. Pull, oh, I was going to say a Shuby Taylor. Just pull a full Shuby oh. Taylor and just scat the whole thing. It's let on it go. Yes. Or like that Ella, that like KCRW or whatever it was thing of like where they broke down Ella Fitzgerald and all of I her should just like, have like that referential like stat. Yeah, of, yeah, where she's just like, oh, and then I'm going to toss in this reference to, you know, Louis Armstrong, whatever. Yeah, she's just a genius. It's uh, like out of control. Out of control. Yeah. Ella moved right into what's considered one of the best scat solos ever recorded. I mean, I don't know if Willow has that talent, but I do love the idea of just someone being like, well, I don't know, so I'm just going to... Scat Latin, I like would, Kim Cattrall. I would enjoy a fan or a RuPaul favorite mm -hmm. to just just say, you know what, fuck this, fuck the show. I'm gonna just sure. chaos. I'm just chaos, just chaos. Tammy Brown it. Yep. People look at us like we're freaks. Ha, ha. I'm acting. Just Tammy Brown. Ha! 
I'm acting. <laughs> just well, come on, tell it to me. It's just so good. I would really like, yeah. like they made it that far and then to yeah. just be like, fuck it. Chaos. Chaos. Yeah. Right. If George just was like, I'm over this, I'm just going to be can't chaos. can't kick me off now. Right? <laughs> and if you do, I made it through the whole season. Anyway, I would really have enjoyed that yeah. quite a bit. Scabbity be yay you know, whatever she said. Scabbity wow! Yeah, scabbity ray! Dinsley do the love and let up to baby, who do pensually do the love and let up to baby, shunsley do the love and let up to baby, 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 Will, 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 will. You can't, it's hard to get with W's. I was going to say, like, yeah, will, 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 Yeah, it's hard because it's too, it's, yeah, yeah. Said a ray for cable in dog Latin, he quotes, use it, suffer, surrender. And then we also thought that if someone did Kim Cattrall for Snatch Game, that would be fun. And then people commented that someone did on All Star 6 and just, we never watched it. We didn't oh, watch this? Speaking of, we, we never watched it. We just were like, I cannot. I, we never watched it. Wait, Love those queens. I don't even know who was on. I don't remember. Okay, great. I don't know. Exciting news about All Star 7. They're changing the format. <gasps> Apparently, it's a point system like we've been asking for. Okay, they're listening. Honestly. How? 3,000, 6,000, 8,000? <laughs> Get out of here. You're listening. Although you took very thorough precautions in the pod against my hearing you, I could see your lips move. Five thousand? Five. Five? Five? Five, Riverside? <laughs> We're broken. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> so needless to say, we will not be reviewing All Star 7, but maybe we'll watch it. Yes, I have a, a soft uh, inclination to perhaps Well, and there's only watch eight queens. queens, so it can't be that long. Yeah, well... <laughs> this season's cast was so lovable, I didn't want to send anybody home. RuPaul, if you don't send a girl home next week, I will go directly to George's house <laughs> <laughs> and ruin your life. Uh. Let's just put it that way. And, 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 I, and I keep my promises, bitch. <laughs> Woo, that's copy anima. Um... <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's not coming for me. <laughs> Can I just say now, we're skipping around. How did Maddie steal the reunion? Did she? Of anyone else. Doom Jambalaya. <laughs> you know, as short as your time was, maybe you should change your name to February. Oh. It's okay. Black History Month, so you shouldn't do that. <laughs> I thought Carrie Colby did. Well, she, as, as queen mother auntie, I am the most mature and beautiful goddess that is living on earth, of course. I think accountability is important, mistakes happen, and everybody has to acknowledge that stress is real. Yeah. But as just like reunions go, like sure. somebody was like, quip, yes. <laughs> what? Also, Joke. I love Lady Camden yes. though, coming in with the shade. Coming in hot. hot. Like when you go public places and people freak out and they're like, oh my God, and I'm like, do I know them? Do I know them? <laughs> they're like, hey, Kelly Mance, was that you? <laughs> Hot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. then, well, we'll get there. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh we'll my get God. there. Okay. Yes. So then they um, had five Tic Tac lunches in a row and it was too many. I didn't write one thing down. They didn't even bother to have the unplugged microphones this time. No. No, I don't think there's a podcast anymore that they're doing it for. That was at least, that made Remember sense. Remember with Diabetes Joke? You had that podcast that made people smile. And then there was another two chapters of her joke. And then yes. she got to some kind what of... What was the joke? I don't know. But cool. she mentioned that podcast. I remember. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, oh yeah, that's right. Willow and I are very, very close. And I want Willow and I to be in the finale together. Willow and I are best friends. This isn't going to go horribly wrong at all. Oh, no. That was, I mean, it was so telegraphed the entire episode. It was just like, oh, okay, so the two of them are going to be in the bottom and they're going to have a fucking, you know, all-stars-esque dancing on their own moment. Okay. So they're all drawing their sketches for oh, their right. outfits. Yes. Oh, that's cute, girl. Oh, that's cute, girl. Um, and then we never see the seamstresses or them interact with them or fabric design choices like, or anything. And I then would it's love just that. like, next day, here's your outfit. Well, right. It was so boring. And it's like, cut, cut the Tic Tac lunch. Who cares? Fucking cut it. <laughs> cut cut it. it. Cut talking to yourself. Cool. We've saved up seven minutes now. Oh, 
of airtime, fifteen, honestly, <clears throat> that you could spend on something like I would. I would be so been interested. So interested to see why are you designing this? What's the conversation like? And then Instead to judge of, them on this. Oh, is that your silhouette on your? Yeah, it is. Is that your profile on your dress? Uh huh. That is so cool. Oh, thank oh you. wow! I just yeah. noticed it's that. It's pretty rough. I would have enjoyed to get into this. Yeah. And why? Yeah. I was bothered. I was just kind of like, what a missed opportunity. Yeah. And I would love to see that as a challenge challenge. Even, yeah. You know, where it's like, You oh. know how they can fix? I mean, I'm not asking for the makeover challenge. I'm happy it didn't happen. Sure. Don't get me wrong. But that would be a way to fix it. You and your... Person. Twin. <laughs> Family member. Fam familial. Yeah. Design outfits and we'll have them made for you in your size. Sure. While you then do a different challenge together where you We help... still have to do their makeup and their wig. You have yep. to collaborate. You have to come up with a character. Give yep. them more time to teach them how to walk in heels. Whatever. Blah, exactly. Blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah. That could, be, that could be fun. I would also be into just having more of the designer aspect on yeah. hand for the show. In general. To level the playing field. Yeah, have a challenge where you have to make your own and have yes. a challenge where you have to work with a designer because yes. those are two valid Very different things. things that yeah. drag queens have to do. Yeah, and it's like, okay, two of the, let's make it only 14, please, episodes at least are ones where you didn't have to have an outfit prior to the competition. Right, because, I mean, they definitely ran out of outfits. Well, yeah. Oh, no, well, you, you can make, we'll have designers come in to make you outfits because <laughs> we haven't sent people home for five weeks. Sure. Wasn't there a thing where like every episode that Lady Camden wins, no one goes home? Yes, I just used that. I saw that. Yeah, that was funny. It's fine. Yeah. Anyway, yes, they get all their outfits together and Bosco's is... Not good. Bosco's outfit is perfectly made. It's just, I don't think she imagined that it would look like a soccer mom in space. Very bad. And Willow is delighting in talking about how bad it is. And I was like, you know what, though, girl, it is bad. It is bad. It's, the color was wrong. It's like an intergalactic mom ready to pick up her kids. She's got a big necktie on the uh, Yeah, a weird tits. diamond. Yeah. And then she paired it with that mom wig. Oh, that wig was rough. That's all I wrote down. I said, Bosco, rough wig. <laughs> I wrote down, the outfit's so distracting, I didn't listen to her verse. It was, though. It was. and But what's interesting White is that when you... corset? Well, I think she did that to try and break it up because it looked so bad. Oh, I know. But like when you looked at the original sketch, I was like, I mean, it's not great. It wasn't great. But it was not what, it was like how you ordered it, how it was delivered. Oh, cute. I'm feeling like very like structured cat suit. No panties and corsets. Did it, she pick the color? Well, That's that, what I want to know. Right. The color was not helpful. No. And not very Bosco. But that's where, too, like, did like they pick the fabrics? Blue? It was like a spacey blue. It yeah. was Judy Jetson, soccer mom, you know. But a little xenon girl of the 21st century. <laughs> but, like, she's grown up and become a yes. single mom, and she's bringing orange slices to the soccer game. Or she's, like, xenon's mom. Sure. You know, it's like the, the uniform that they wear on the space station in xenon. Right, yes. God, I can't wait to do a retro review of that. So they all try on their outfits and... Learn, boom, you have to learn the choreography in the outfits. Right. Which was already, I was like, oh no. But Well, we learn why. We learn why. Um, oh, and right. Oh, and Michelle is here. And I was like, that's rude. Here you have to learn how to do this choreography in front, in front of, of, of Michelle, one of the judges. Gonna... Exactly. It, it just was a weird vibe. And then it turned out to continue because then it was like, well, guess what? <laughs> we didn't give you any time to continue to learn this. You now have to perform it. We spent 17 minutes on the Tic Tac lunches, but you don't have any time to learn to the learn... choreography. I mean, yes, as a drag queen, you have to like be able to do stuff on the fly, which I think Angie did. Yes. So I'm very confused as to why they were like, hey, person who notoriously is not good at picking up choreography, but then nails it with her confidence. You didn't pick up on that choreography, but you nailed, you nailed it, with it with your, your confidence. confidence. We don't like that. I was like, what? Yeah, that's what I didn't understand. I was completely glamored. Like, right. I, by you got the, the end, beginning and the end, like, there was enough to edit great. that no one would have ever known if we didn't want you to. So, yeah. like, who cares? It was such a non issue to me. And it was more of just like a production well, thing. You can of absolutely like, write it both ways. It's, it's the, you know, how did you take it? Wow, sure. you didn't, we didn't give you any time and you're usually really bad with choreography, but you know what? You sold the shit out of it. You win. Right. Versus what happened. And yeah. it's just like weird. It was just so obvious. But yeah. anyway, I didn't really love any of their outfits except Diabetes. Diabetes looked great. Um, Willows, I said she looked like... Uh, it was fun. Yeah, it was like Drew Barrymore in The Craft. It was like that would... In Mars. 
on on like planet Teenage Mars. A little bit, a little bit, yeah. Like the one white puffed sleeve and the little circle skirt and the green. Everyone used bad colors. Colors. I did. Maybe except, that was the except, video. Again, except everybody. Right. Lots of like neon greens. Yes, not the neon. Yeah. Um, what well, Angie's was terrible. Angie's was not good. I mean, it was just a bodysuit, which was a problem. And then also the just it was colors, too busy the and the shoulders the, were... like a stained glass front yeah. kite on her front but like neon yeah it was like a neon kite yes. yeah mm, she'll fly away Ooh. now if she'd had a little tail of bows coming out her ass oh, i would have liked cute. it real kite look a real kite look just <laughs> just very I, mary poppins i like it <laughs> I don't know why, but then like for shoulder pads, Ooh. someone just had huge, huge kites. Yes. At, and then the back, they turned around, they had a little tail, tail of bows. That'd be very silly. That's fun, actually. I like that a I lot. I like that a lot. Yeah. Anyway, and then Lady Camden's was cute. I mean, it looked like she was going to be in the most fabulous Pilates class in the Matrix. It was like pants. And it oh. had like oh, yeah, green. Yeah. I said she looked like Predator and Scary Spice. <laughs> Going to a Pilates class. Yes. Yeah. It, it had a real athleisure vibe it did. to me. And it I don't, did. I don't know why, yeah. but it was just like yeah. a real... I like that a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> she's on the Predator planet, but she's, you know, a Peloton teacher. <laughs> yeah, something like that, right? I like it a lot. Yes. Actually, yes. This Predator's got to keep in shape, too. Right? I like the idea of, like, you know, they did some of those, like, TV shows that unfortunately didn't really do well, but they've tried it with that idea of, like, um, you know, Marvel. Like, they had that one where it was like, oh, the insurance adjusters or whatever. I don't know what you're talking about. I think it was from, did you ever watch that? Oh, God, what's it called? There was a show that was called, like, Human Resources or something. Okay. And it were, well, there, that was a show. And then there was a different show that was, like, um, like all the Marvel, like, um, Shields accountants or something? Basically, but okay. it, yeah, it, it was like, oh, we're all the insurance claims people and we're dealing with, like... Was this an SNL sketch? No, it was like a real okay. show that they tried to make happen. I think it was written by, oh God, the people that wrote a show that I really liked where they were, um, they were like designing and inventing things, nerd and cool guy vibe. It was like a sitcom-y... The IT crowd? No... I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, great. What were we but, talking about? Predator! Right. So I like the idea of doing a show where it's like the Pilates instructors on the Predator planet. Well, they did that. There's an SNL sketch where it's like all of the Peloton... It gives everyone a chance to do an impersonation of a wacky character, except they're all Peloton instructors. It's like, oh, well, we could do... Yeah. <laughs> I like that. that. I like that it's, it seems like a, a regular old SNL sketch, and they're doing... Wacky characters. There's my southern character. Crazy, 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 right? It's like goes through all of them to reveal, pan out, everyone on the Peloton bikes are predators. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Just... <sighs> <laughs> sure. Why? I don't know, but I like it. Anyway, <laughs> Diabetes yes. outfit yes. was fucking fantastic. It really was. This Betty Page, where the boots are built into the garter to the... The whole thing was one piece, obsessed. Yeah. The yeah. hair looked great. Yeah. She had a different color pattern. She didn't... Like, everyone else looked like they were on... There's this, like, stupid... That's rude to my nephews. But there's this, like, dumb show that my nephews make me watch called Danger Force, where they're like, oh. ha-ha, we are all superheroes. Uh, it looked like that. Sure, I get and that. And I was like, what and then, it? Right, and, and then, she, meanwhile, she's here, the sexy like, vixen, just hey. like, ha. Ah. And I was like, who's she? I want to be on her show. Yeah. Uh, Daya slayed it. Yeah. I wrote that it was a Bam Bam Yes, Yes. <laughs> it was. Sort of animal print. Yeah. Like, rawr, Betty yeah. Page. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. It was great. That's true. It was like a bam bam yes please. <laughs> bam bam yes please. <laughs> so quick commercial break and we'll be back with the perform or like the music video and the runway and a lack of a decision. <laughs> so wow, Rue walks out. I am personally offended on behalf of Maddie Morphosis. Right, I love it. What the fuck? <laughs> This is the worst look I've ever seen. I hate it. I'm going to recreate it so it's fashion. Right. I was I just mean, like, what? To be fair, it was what hers should have been. Oh, absolutely. But still, they were similar enough now, that it's like... if she had walked out with Zadimorphosis oh in this dress... That would have been hilarious. And then it like, also oh, was very, like, kind of Barbarella's coat of many colors. <laughs> well, it had a, a Harlequin kind of diamond 
yeah. pattern vibe well, on the I, bottom. I liked that, right? Like that, and that was interesting too. If if Maddie had just turned the pieces, yes. it probably would have made it much more fashion. Maybe less patchworky, more exactly. Yeah. Thank you all so much for Yay. believing in me. Question yes. mark. Well, Maddie, you truly earned that. Is this a direct attack on Maddie Morphison? <laughs> But I, this was uh, awesome. I loved it. It was fun. Yeah, loved sure. it. If she'd walked the whole runway and then smiled and had a blacked out teeth. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That would have been hilarious. Just like really... Really just twisting yeah. that knife. Yeah. So category is princess... No, it's not. Um, it's um, you're a winner, baby. Right. This was weird. It was really weird because Numerous it was... Numerous people I'm reference. a princess. I'm a blah princess. A freaking princess gown. Disney princess is rat princess. I'm just like a blah, blah, blah princess. Yeah. And it was like, okay. I'm a winner, baby? Okay. I mean... That's so generic. It could just be dress nice. Whatever. I felt like this season in particular, there were a lot of instances where it was like, okay, well, they clearly all had the same prompt. It just wasn't this one. <laughs> right, right. It's not like, oh, you missed the assignment. It's everyone missed the assignment because they changed it at the last minute. Right. And it's like, why are you doing that? Just so that you can say, oh, well, you didn't fit this so bill. So they can choose who can be in the bottom. Exactly. And that's stupid. But anyway, first down the runway is Busco. And this was gorgeous. I mostly 100% love this. Okay. I didn't think that the the front belt looked great. It cut her in half. I don't know if I remember a front belt. So there was like a Tiffany blue um, sash mm. that went across right on her hips. And then it was like a bustle in the back. Sure. And I think just do the bustle in the back. It yeah. cut her in half and I didn't love that. Okay, I got that. Um, but this beautiful nude illusion. Yeah, kind of art deco-y um, vibes. On very the... uh, How to Marry a Millionaire, yeah. Marilyn Monroe. Yes. 50s yeah. sex goddess. Yeah. Her hair was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Loved it. I liked, like, I loved this 95%. Sure, I get that. I just, something about the where the sash Interesting. landed. I was like, mm -hmm. the, 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 the sash. Shaw? The shaw. How do you spell it? The sash. S A S H. Yeah, sash. Sash. Oh God, this isn't another sequence moment, is it? So the next is Angeria. And I mean, well, so the first thing that caught my eye was this Troop Beverly Hills hat. Yeah, we're a little fascinated. Whoosh, the little peacock feather, like, whoosh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's great. We just have to go make a phone call. Exactly. <gasps> oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so this turned the corner, and I went, yeah! With this. And then the more you saw it in the light, the fabric combinations mm -hmm. didn't look as nice and expensive as it could have. I think it was the lighting. Yeah, the silhouette was great though. The shape, the silhouette, like it turned and I went, oh my god, yes, with this big asymmetricals. Like it was balanced properly, yeah. the yeah. body was right, it was simple and clean but gorgeous. Yep. But then yeah, like the more you looked at it under the lights, it was like, oh, this velvet and then whatever material the ruffles were like a little bit of a different plaque and then just uh, uh, like in a lower lighting setting i think sure, you'd be like this is stunning. perfection i'm obsessed with this yeah this was really 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 good yeah but yeah next on the runway diabetti in this you know those snakes that look like popcorn what like those white and yellow snakes that look like i, I always called them popcorn snakes you know those big snakes that are white and yellow they're like albino. Oh, oh yes. And they look like little but they popcorn. Don't, sure, like the coloring. The coloring. Not, not because of like... Not because they're ripply. Got you. They're still yes. smooth. They're like... Um, I don't know. I call them... Boa pop constrictors or something. Yeah, yeah. I just always call them popcorn snakes for whatever reason. I don't know. Great. But this popcorn snake, I'm escaping from the burning of Atlanta, you know, haunted yes. mansion. <laughs> I've just, you know, uncovered... You've... You've uh, come into Terra, and I'm the ghost haunting it. You know, it was, it was good. It was good. The side bustle was a rare, thrilling moment. <laughs> side cleavage is a rare, thrilling moment. This worked. It did. Uh, but yet, rare is rarely thrilling, yes. <laughs> um, but this, this was her best look yes. of the season. Yeah. It was up there with the best look of the night. I loved this. I thought it was really interesting and there was a point of view, there was a story, a story? it was well put together. It, the burn effect I looked really cool. Fault it. I think I heard too, this is Mondo. Oh, wow. Who you famously um, 
Oh my insulted god! Insulted at that bar. What was that? I don't even remember. He had a he had a Discover card, and you made fun of him and said, "What the Diners Club or something?" It was like Diners Club card, I think. And I was like, "Yeah, we were waiting for," it. and it wasn't even. It, and it, yeah, hmm. you just you just flat out shaded him. It's like what is this? Nineteen ninety two. Are you a Diners Are you a hundred years old? What's happening? At like a gay bar. Yeah. <laughs> diners Club card. No, it, it was you I think you said what well, you might as well have a diners club card. Oh, I think you it was like just a, a discovery. Like card? a discover card. Well that was just rude. <laughs> Maybe it was I don't know what it was. I remember there was a diners club card and and some shade. Great. And anyway. Sorry, Mondo. I think you're great. <laughs> This outfit is so fucking good. Yeah. Um, really liked it. Really, really, this was fab. Yeah. Next was Lady Camden de Berg. And this, uh, her mom, she said, made the headpiece, which was so sweet. Well, this was perfection. Interesting. This was perfection. I mean, I thought it was very regal and beautiful. I was uninspired by it a little bit. I guess maybe in thinking if it was princess and not, like, like then yes, it makes more sense. If she was Elsa. It was a very, bit. um, elven a little bit. She, she was. Yes. She looked like she was in Lord of the Rings. Yeah. And I'm yeah. Kate Blanchett in Lord of the Rings, except it's a ball, and uh, it looked so good. The fabric, the quilting, yes. the way that the sleeves opened up here and had a extra cuff, and just oh my god, the makeup. And it was just like yes, like yes. It wasn't an out of the box idea. No. But she did it to perfection. Absolutely. So therefore, I was like, oh my god. Sure, I get that. It was also sort of, well, because she said, I'm my Disney princess fantasy, right? I am embodying the Disney princesses that I fell in love with when I was like four or five years old. This did have kind of a Beauty and the Beast, I'm the silverware at the ball and I came to life situation. Oh my God, I love that. Right? Because it had yes. all this like filigree Sil yes. and silverness yeah. and just like, oh. I love that idea. I'm the soup spoon, you know, something yeah, like that. Yeah, that turned into, mm, exactly, yeah. yeah. Maybe like the serving spoon. The caviar spoon. spoon. I'm Ooh, just trying to think of the most, pearl. the most unique, okay. <laughs> wow, okay. Yay! What's the most um, unique oyster? An spoon? oyster fork? Oyster, she's the oyster fork. Yeah, I was just trying to think of the most, the, there's only one, you know, or whatever. Oh. Uh, or, or, or. Well, that's why I said like a serving spoon, you know, like some sort of like, mm, mm, yes, yes. The, the salad, salad tongs, tongs, the silver it's salad less, serving. Yeah. A little less nice. Yeah, that doesn't sound as fancy. <gasps> the silver punch bowl turned into a dress. <laughs> Ooh. Now think about that, right? If you turned like a silver punch bowl upside down as the hoop. Uh huh. And then, uh -huh. and then you could have like the, the, the ladle yeah. becomes the head. Piece. We've gone into Manila and territory, but the, I like it. The the spine is the okay. I think it could work. Okay. I think that could. The okay. punch bowl turned into a, a a princess. That would be like crystal, not silver. Then they make silver punch bowls. Oh okay. Last down the runway. Yes. Oh my god. Well, they listened to you. They saved the the bat. They, they saved Willow for they last. They saved Willow for last. <laughs> I just can't get enough. Yeah. Of Will Pill. <laughs> I am obsessed with rats. Rats are seen. And um, every time she turns that corner, I laugh for a while with glee. Yeah. She turned the corner, and she is her rat princess fantasy. This little halter bustier corset, but then the, something like the burgundy gloves really made it work for well, some reason. Because with like the, I feel with like there were red the, eyes, yeah, because yeah, it's a rat, which little, they didn't get. They kept saying mouse, and I was like, I mean, I get that because like, you know, the little ears were pretty mouse-like. Right. It was very cute. And yes. I feel like, you know, her whole point, you know, to her credit or whatever was that people think rats are gross and mice are cute, um, but she did look rather mouse-like. It was very gadget from Chippendale, oh. although she would never wear a dress. She's too <laughs> fabulous. She's wearing jumpsuits. Yes. Now if she'd turn that corner as Gadget in a jumpsuit, oh my God. Love that. <laughs> would have been really good. She had a great mouse detective, Miss Kitty, just like, oh, I'm just here to do my number. And you know, then walk off. Let me be good to you. Great mouse detective. It's great. <laughs> Underrated. It was very, I'm a mouse, duh, yeah. but like, <laughs> at the ball, at the prom, <laughs> at, the at the prom, the Halloween prom. 
Trick or treat! What would you like, little girl? What kind of candy do you desire? Um, can I please have, um, um, a ring pop? We don't have any of those, but I'll give you a scab filled with my blood. I'm a mouse. Sure. Duh. A Halloween prom? Now, I would be obsessed to go to a Halloween prom. That would be amazing. That'd be fun. Hey, that's Never Been Kissed. They did that at Never Been Kissed. They did. I mean, it wasn't technically Halloween prom. It was come dressed as your favorite couple throughout history. Throughout history. Prom, but it was basically Halloween prom. Is that why they went as DNA? Yeah. Oh. It was a lot. Remember David Arquette is dressed like um, Tom Cruise in Risky Business? And she's Rebecca De Mornay? Vaguely. Okay. I haven't watched that movie in a very long time. You know what I rewatched recently because it was on and I was like, oh, 50 First Dates? I remember that being one of the better ones. It, yes. You know? Yeah. It's no wedding singer, but right. it's not, oh. you know, um, blended. Anyway, this was fantastic and it made me laugh and I loved it. Oh, and yes. she 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 flooped down and did her Beauty and the Beast in the library fantasy and I was like, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. No, and I love You're loved telling this. me this wasn't princess category? Well, that was, yeah. <laughs> I, I quit. I quit. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> So, quick commercial break, and we'll be back with the music video and the, I mean, we're not going to really talk about the younger selves. Oh, and also, the, there's an entire reunion. Oh, yeah, we're, so we, got, we got that to talk about, so come back. Yeah. <laughs> so, Catwalk, that's what it's called. Yeah. Catwalk, the music video, where RuPaul... <laughs> where Ru RuPaul looked like Pitbull? I was going to say, because she, she was wearing, like, Robert Evans glasses. And she was looking through the viewfinder through her clearly, you know, prescription sunglasses or whatever. And I was like, what is this? I love it. <laughs> this is so dumb. Yeah. I'm not getting in drag. No, no. I'm just going to pretend to film you guys. Yeah. yeah. As Pitbull via Robert Evans. Let's do this. <laughs> this camera's not even plugged in. There's no film in this camera. <laughs> Both you and I know that there is no film in this camera. On a whole, this music video was great. It was great. I thought, I mean, they haven't done a music video, right? They've done a lot of like all stars, whatever. They did the like live one right. take ones, which right. were great. great. But like, it's been a little while, at least that I can remember, that there was a music or video. At least a memorable music video. Well, certainly that. I, I thought mean, this was really good. It was really a fun good. concept. Yeah. It was quick. It was easy. It was, you know, nothing really stood out as like, ooh, that there was. There was nothing that was absolutely fucking fantastic. No. So there's that. Sure. Um, but they all nailed it. Yeah. I, the verses were... Well, yeah. Bosco's, honestly, I don't remember because the outfit was so distracting. And the way that they recorded her... Walk how you feel I Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It just faded away. I don't it know. really did. I don't know what happened. It yeah. was like, oh, Bosco's on? Like It didn't something... help. She was first, right? Yeah. And so I think maybe... It was like you had to get a sense of the way that it was all cut it together. You like you had to, something. Yeah. The, it was like, oh, okay, this is how they're laying it all out. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to what she was saying. Oh, it's gone. Oh, okay, well there you go. Yeah. So Bosco's for me faded away. Yeah. Angie had all the personality yes. in the world. From the country to the silver screen, it's Angie, bitch, living out my dream. Well, now here's where I get really angry. We're talking about her verse. Yeah. And she literally has the words like, I was always taught to walk with grace, confidence, poise, and tons of faith. And Michelle Visage was like, you know, you really should fucking crawl on the runway. I'm going to get angry that you didn't. And I'm like, did you listen to her fucking lyric? Michelle gets mad if you don't take her advice. Angie's was super energetic, fun. She caught my attention. I don't yes. remember a super lot of what it was, except I'm going from the country to Hollywood and I'm a star sure. and, you know, pretty standard stuff. Yeah. But she had, like, she caught my attention. Yes. That's all I can say. I had fun watching it. I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm into this. Yes, you are a great bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are a great bitch detective. <laughs> That is a show I would watch. The, the Great, Great Bitch, Bitch Detective? Detective? Yes. It's like, it's a would. Poirot style, but it's just... Would watch. I mean, it's just Miss Marple. But, but yeah, but uh, would watch. I hardly think so, Miss Giles. It's unlikely he would have murdered his business partner, not when he only had 49% of the business and the controlling interest would have reverted to Lord Fenley's sister. It's just murder she wrote. No, she's not a bitch. No. She's no. the opposite. Yeah. It's great. It's great. 
Except all of her family members do keep getting murdered. Well, no, they keep being they keep framed for being, murder. Or, 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 or have friends that are murdered. Exactly, or, uh, yes, yes. They keep being I wanna tangential do, to um, murder. I got it. What are those, like, genealogy websites? Uh, yes, like whatever. The, yeah. Tree leaf, whatever. Yeah, the fuck, yeah. 110 genes, I don't, whatever. I want to do um, Jessica Fletcher's, because the amount of, for having no children herself, right. the amount of cousins, nephews, nieces. It's a lot. Aunts, uncles. Yep. And kids. Oh my God, when she plays her own cousin. Hey, Emma. Hello, cousin. Welcome to London. The cockney the, one? Yes. <laughs> when she just puts on her Sweeney Todd uh, <laughs> character. Like, Wolves, um, pies, and London. And London. Yeah, yeah, it was very that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's anyway, great. anyway. So the next was Daya Betty in the best outfit. Yep. She commanded attention yep. and the stage. Her lyrics were pretty standard. I don't and remember it them. It was at like, all. I'm crown me because I'm a it was, you know, yeah. standard stuff. The mug is stamped and my waist is thinner, so you betty be ready, because I've always been a win. But she sold it and she sold it in the face and the everything yes, and, the, and the crawling and the this I'm and the here yeah, and she, fuck yeah. yeah and her outfit was so good it was nice yeah so there was that yeah and then lady camden i i don't really i had two separate feelings it started and she was like l to the a l to the a to the d to the y like a shooting star no i don't like it but then the second half yeah she had interesting phrasing twist turn levitate act pose and she did do the choreography great. Yes. And she, I fucked that camera. Yes. Um, so on a whole, good, but don't never don't spell. Don't spell it. D to the E to did the T we learned to the O to the it. <laughs> we, X. Anyway, Lady Camden was was great. And, yes. Um, but don't spell. Don't spell. <laughs> and last out was Will Pill. Um, and I thought her verse and lyrics were above and beyond the best her performance a little subdued cute absurd and a touch of ugly a celebrate life let's pour the bubbly a little subdued unfortunately but hers is the only one i remember she's talking about we live in a matrix i'm the solution get lost to massage this is illusion herself her journey um she's right. like it's all just a matrix and we're living in yes. it yes like i she conveyed her Philosophy. Self and her philosophy yeah. and her personality into her verse more than anyone. I get, I agree with that. And maybe that. that's just because she just has the strongest, most different personality. Sure, she know? has more to say that's different than just like I'm, I'm here and I'm a winner, baby. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna stomp that runway, you know. And you're like, right. oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah, you stomp it. So then they talk to their younger selves. I don't care. I mean, it was there were some felt. nice there moments. There were some nice moments. It was emotional. They cried. Sure. They didn't do. Why should you win? No. Yeah. When they were doing both of those oh, that was and the, the tic tac Oh lunches, my god, it was just like It's just um emotional manipulation. It is. And I don't like it. No, me either. I, I, I don't enjoy watching people be emotionally manipulated and trying to emotionally manipulate me right. while watching a fun television show. Exactly. I don't like it. Let's move on. Yep. <laughs> so we find out that Daya, Betty, you were the top of the crowd and the pile of the, I don't know what kind of metaphor I'm looking Cream for. Cream of the crop at the Cream top of the, the pile of the, of the heap, heap of, of the... the crowning you are safe. <laughs> Your pussy was on fire. Cinderfella, you are safe. I was like, oh! oh. They really set me up because I was, I actually think Daya should have won this episode. I agree. Honestly. Yeah. Putting it out there, she should have won this episode with a close second by Lady. Sure. The lady was great too. Yeah. But Lady Camden wins. Yay. And, and no one went home. No one went home. When they said Bosco was safe, I was oh. shocked. I wasn't. I mean, just. Because it was so it was obvious. It so was telegraphed, but in, let's just say in my logic brain of who who should have been in the bottom, Bosco to me was clearly the worst of the episode. But we had to have this epic lip sync, so I'm, whatever, who cares, I'm fine with it. Sure, so yeah, so so Willow and Willow Angie and are in the, the bottom, bottom together. Because Shocker, they're oh best my God. friends. Yeah, oh, you know, and it was like, okay, that's cute. What did they lip sync to, I forgot. Wow, wow. If there are things that are considered holy in the gay culture, this song is one of them. If there is one song, that is sacred that you cannot mess up. 
Oh, telephone. telephone. Angie was really, um, really leaning into the... I was like, girl, you got to hang up that phone. You got to hang up this that isn't middle, this telephone. This isn't middle school, and you can't stay on the phone the whole time. Right. You yeah. got you to gotta hang up that phone, girl. Yeah. Stop wrapping the cord around your finger. I miss landlines. I know. I really do. <laughs> and I don't care if I sound like I'm 87 years old. <laughs> I genuinely miss them. Yeah. Anyway, anyway uh, great lip sync. Yes. Willow, for me, eked it out. Okay. If we're choosing. E yeah. Mainly because something about Willow, you know, just getting real groovy as a as, as a mouse princess um, rat. Yeah, they were dancing cake. and just having they a were, great time. They were having fun together. They were dancing together. Yes. They were interacting. It was all joyful. Yes, it was. To be honest, I didn't bother trying to decide who should win because it was just so clear to me what was happening. I was like, oh, okay. They're going to be in the bottom and then they're going to have I, for, an emotional or whatever lip sync for once, and then they're going to save like, them both. For once, I was like, they, they, they surely, they can't. Not send, like I was like they can't not send someone home again. Like I was like this is this is pure madness. So I was a little tricked this week. Wow. But um. But then I was like, of course. Of course. But of course. 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 It did seem like they were editing it to Willow's favor. A little. Anyway, it doesn't matter. No. Because they both stay. The first time ever a uh, top five finale. What are we doing? What are we doing? I think it's like 37% or something of the entire cast is in the finale. I think we could have lost Bosco this week. I think so. And I would have been sad. Sure. But okay with it. Um, I think, to be they honest. Have, they have set her up in a way that makes it seem like she shouldn't be there. And, and it's, that's, that's worse. That's not on her. But I think that's honestly worse than yeah. if you, if she had just gone home and we'd be all like, oh, could Bosco have gone home? We would have been like, we hate you, production. We need Bosco we at All Stars. Yeah, and now we're like, like, God, I don't know. I think I might have had enough Bosco. They don't seem to like her, so maybe we should be over it. It's a weird it's vibe. It's weird. Yeah. For me, you have to decide, is it a competition or is it not? Right. But like All Stars, if it is in fact the point system, that especially makes sense to me too because they're all... Are they going to have a big abacus? With, I hope with, they have Bendela Krems. Bendela's Abacus on Corner. It? I hope so. Be fun. If they do, then okay. they really are listening. A really oversized, <laughs> and, and when you win, you get to go whoop, whoop. You know, yeah, you, moved it you, over. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Well, I got, I was in I was in first place, so I got three points, and you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. second place gets two, and third place gets one. When they get one. kicked off, your photo is replaced with a black and white photo. I love it. Ooh, yes. It'd be great. Well, I was thinking about like All Stars, like Jesus Christ. Oh, because. Bianca Del Rio was like, sorry, I'm busy. And someone was like, no, you're not, girl, or whatever. And then Bianca wrote back, have fun in bankruptcy. <laughs> I fucking love her. Right. But they need to find a way to make it less focused just on outfits. Yes. And lip syncing. Give them more challenges. Well, so now that we're done with this episode, right? Mm. We're, we're done with all of this season, essentially. <clears throat> yes. I was thinking, about, like, there wasn't a makeover, uh, like a family resemblance challenge. Mm. There wasn't... Puppets. There wasn't puppets. There wasn't a few different things that, like, we normally have. And it was a lot of repetition on the challenge types. Well, in, in a row, you know, so we're at the reunion. Yeah. Well, at the end of the reunion. Oh. Well, quick commercial break. Okay. And we'll be back with the reunion. We'll get there. And then we'll, we'll talk about it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> not to disparage the show in any way whatsoever, but putting two design challenges back to back. Anybody else have anything? <laughs> if I could say something, um, I don't want to be saying anything too disparaging about the show and about you. And then Very having, heterophobic. Uh, you know, that was that was so fun. That was silly. You put two design challenges so close together. <laughs> it's, it just reads as blatant heterophobia, honestly. But also, like, add more variety. There's no flow. There's no flow. No. There was no momentum this season. Mm -hmm. It was every time you thought something, oh, I'm getting kind of excited about, oh, I brought two people back because, okay. You know, oh, I'm saving both of them because. Yep. Oh, everyone's in the top this week because every time I thought that we yep. were moving forward, we've taken two steps back. Yeah. Two steps forward, two steps back. 
Well, I think that's why, I mean, obviously it is a long season. It was 16 episodes versus 14, but I think it didn't help that it, because there wasn't that progression of like, right. ooh, we're really getting somewhere. Anyway, we're here to talk about the reunion. Sure. Briefly. Briefly. Hold on, let me pull up my notes because I wrote five things. Great. The reunion uh, where they showed about two and a half seconds of outfits and about 17 minutes of clips from the... <laughs> Season that we already saw. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. I mean, it was just a clip show, which it, is, it I guess, a... what they used to be, but like... Yes, but this was poorly paced, and I don't feel like it was as long. And then it ended Usually so abruptly. Usually they're 43, 44 with commercials, right? Sure. Previous, right? Well, th these are 90-minute episodes now. That's what I'm saying. It's horrible. Oh, well, right. It <laughs> like, shouldn't be a 90-minute reunion. A 40, you know, four-minute cl clip show slash drama. Excuse right. your mouth. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's fun. An hour and one minute clip show of a season that won't end that we've already been watching all season there's no one watching the reunion episode that didn't watch the season because that's madness although i am currently watching all of red letter media's picard reviews and have seen zero footage of the tv show picard except in their reviews so you know well but that's different that's different sheer fucking hubris that's not like you went to go watch episode 9 of 10 of Picard. Right, and we're like, what's this? <laughs> this is pure madness. Trash. It seems like it's trash. I'm enjoying watching Although I will say, you probably could just watch the last episode of Gilded Age and you'd be like, yep, I'm cool. But also, don't, because you're oh, missing no. so you're many missing fabulous so things. missing so many outfits. Thousands of outfits. Literally so, thousands of outfits. So many outfits. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Right, the reunion. Yes. So I wrote down, um, Willow Pill looked like Raggedy Ann. Sure, a little fickle. but like, um, like, like the new and improved 2001 Raggedy Ann. Yeah, very that. Right? Yes. Or Pippi Longstocking Raggedy Ann. Sure, Anne. yeah, it yeah. Just like, we're no revamping spunk. it. Exactly. We're going to talk about their outfits scattered throughout as I picked up on them because they showed them so briefly I couldn't capture it yeah. and then I was bored so then I started to write down outfits. Great. So, That's pretty much what I did. Great. So the first outfit I wrote down was cornbread. Yes, oh my god. Who, okay, I, I, both, Ankle. I both like and don't like this. Oh, I love this. I think it's sort of weird to just... I think it was because they were like such good friends, such good friends. and she had made so much fun of her, of her, out, outfit. her outfit and yeah. then they became such yeah. good friends. And, ankle and, and then ankle fun. is stupid. There was a lot I liked about it. It was just a little bit like, if she'd worn it to the finale, obviously mistake. But because right. it's a reunion, it's fine. Yes, I it's think so. Fine. I think so. It's fine. Yeah, it, yeah. like because it, you know, who cares about these looks? A little bit. Like you know, it's not the finale. You want to look glamour and be like, yes, bitch, look at me. Georges was very showgirls dressed like Gina sure. Gershon, darling. Yeah, it was very yes, darling, darling. It was very yeah. that. Yeah, uh, it was good. I liked it a lot. I wish she'd had crazier nails, perhaps. <laughs> sure. Bosco. Oh my God. Looked like she was a member of uh, Bowser's harem. That's what I said. And I was into it. You know, Jabba the Hutt's keeping me in the lair, but... But it's Bowser. Bowser. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. It was good. I liked it, it a it lot. Was, it was certainly a look, and I I'm like, it. what's this? I don't like it. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. And then we had another um, montage of all of the chocolates. Um, this was, you know... we didn't watch the season. It's chocolate. chocolate. It's chocolate. It was sort of silly having all of the It's Chocolates harmonize. Right. We tried to jazz it up in editing. I was still like, we watched it. We were there. It happened already. Well, that was, everyone was like, oh my God, I can't wait for you guys to make a montage of all of the It's Chocolates. Us, right, yes. Well, and then I was like, well. I was just clarifying. Oh, like, yes, yes, yes. Everyone would comment and say us. us to make a montage of it. And then I was like, well, it turned out there weren't that many. Yeah. Because there weren't that many eliminations. Yeah. And then Bosco got it and then no one else went home. And I just was kind of like, in the end, the concept was more fun than the actual what they product did, what they because did there wasn't them. enough to work with. Right, because no one went home. Yeah. But I did love, what was the one, um, what's Red Velvet? It's chocolate. It's chocolate. <laughs> Was, yeah, June became a little I mean. Missed, I had fun with June. I was like, I oh, did. it would have been nice to have more of her. But I guess, you know. Uh, no. No. No more of anyone. No, yeah. it's fine. I love them. Uh, June looked great in this orange. Yeah. You know, she had uh, Barbara Eden's hair. Next, I wrote down Jasmine's outfit. Oh, I um, thought the outfit was beautiful. I hated the wig. Oh, I was the opposite. Oh, really? Well, I thought the wig was fun. It was fun. It I mean, was very like vitamin C. I'm in Aquaman and my hair is floating in the ocean. Sure. Um, coral reef. Mm -hmm. 
Uh-huh. And she was, looked really beautiful. She did? Um, I just didn't get the connection between the horribly orange wig and the dress. I think dress. she was supposed to be an Aquaman. I think she was like under the sea. Coral. I don't know. That's what I saw. Okay. I thought, well, maybe. I don't the know. The tool to me seemed like it was like, like trans flag colors. Maybe oh. I was wrong. I don't know. I saw more than maybe just, there were more, more colors than just blue and pink. But okay. um, either way, I thought she looked really beautiful. Yes, and polished, and I yes. liked it. I really didn't write down much except the outfit. So we'll just we're just gonna keep going. It was all really pretty boring. I mean, so like Jasmine and Daya had a fight, and then they made up, and then right. they had a fight, and then they made up. Right. Um, I don't know. I liked that Daya was like, I'm not gonna apologize for what I said. I apologize for the way I said it. It was. Uh, it started and I was okay with it. Girl, I said what I said. I don't take any of that shit back. I was being honest. Jasmine said things at the wrong time. She was like, look, it was a TV show. I was being a bitch. It was what it was. And I was like, yeah, I love yeah. it. I own it. Because we haven't had an unapologetic villain in yeah. so long. Yeah. And I loved it. And I'm really sad that everyone sent her so much hate and awfulness because yes. it's a TV show. Yep. So I enjoyed that. But then when she was like, I totally understand how you could feel that way. The way that then she apologized, I was like, oh, girl, oh, no, 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 you did it wrong. Yeah. Mm -mm, it was, mm -mm. Like, ultimately, it's a TV show. Let's, this is why we're here. We're here to make silly drama. Right. Don't take it personally. Well, and I didn't, it's that's... It's not personal, it's drag. Sure, it's not when, personnel. When, when Bosco later was like... I take responsibility for being a huge bitch in the moment, but I don't know where we decided that drag queens aren't huge bitches. Like, <laughs> yeah, hello. <laughs> I've had people order drinks more rudely than half the queens on the show. It's true. I like, what? They can be a little sassy. Sassy. It's fun. And I didn't think that anything that was said was really that much. No. So it was all kind and it of was stupid. All like, it was all obviously coming from a place of Daya being insecure. Well, I thought that was an interesting conversation. So it was sort of like, uh, you yeah. know. Yeah. Okay. I mean... Carrie really for me was just, just the she star was like, of. She's like, Come to me, my babies. Nobody is asking her to be perfect. Yeah. And yes, there are times you're shady, bitch. We all have been there. Yeah. We all have fucking been there. She Come should here, have babies. right. She needs just a show of like. She needs her own Oprah show. Yes. Right. Essentially, right of just like okay, and and now we're gonna talk about this. I'm gonna maturely and calmly explain how this communication got off track. Yep. <laughs> I think probably like, because the competition is intense and she's just giving stress so, is real. Yeah, <laughs> and this is how you deal with stress. I was just like, I was like oh, oh my god. Also, she looked like they a didn't do a Miss Congeniality. God, if they did do a Miss Congeniality, maybe at the finale. Probably, so it could be like. Eh. Yeah, and here's a prize presented by DoorDash. Who do we think? Cash App. Who do we think's gonna win? Carrie. Oh, great. <laughs> Carrie. If she doesn't, then it's like <laughs> flip a table. And and Carrie looked like a oh my god goddess, a goddess. Just, just bronzed uh, slinky glittery oh, perfect. perfect oh my god big and just like oh my god oh my god oh my god I really just I wrote in all caps gorgeous that was it was just <laughs> that was me gagged well because then Daya really started to... When she was like, okay, so you know when you're like in high school oh, right. and you go and you're going to take a science and I was like, oh no, it's Ross. It's Ross. What's I, happened? I thought the same thing. I was like, oh no. No, girl, no. <laughs> no, you, lo you lost her. Shh. Science test, you lost her. We, we don't need the metaphors. It's okay. <laughs> we got it. Shh. It's fine. You know when you're... No. And Alyssa Hunter, who... Yes. Her more than anyone, I feel like, got... Should have gone farther. I think so. Than they did. I really loved her. And yeah. She's so fun and funny and fun. fabulous. Yep. This aquamarine purple kind of like regal queen of hearts, but you know with garter like uh, thigh highs and it was just it was shapes and it was detailed and this head front. Thing. Yeah. I just I, it was it was really good. Sure. She's I was very into polished. It. Yes. It was like tie dyed. Queen of Hearts. I don't know. I liked it. And Daya had um, Meryl Streep's wig from Devil Wears Prada on. Oh my god. This was nice. It yeah. wasn't, didn't scream the Daya that we were getting at the end of the season with right. all this momentum of yeah. kind of this like punk rock, um, grungy, yeah. reused materials kind of vibe. Yeah. Uh, it was nice. Yeah. Well, she's just a dark crystal method, so. She's a distressed crystal. Distressed, distressed crystal. She's a distressed That's crystal. That's right. I love that. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Sorry. Just, I thought of crystals and I have, I, have I shared with you the power of the gems? What? Lil gems. Oh my God. What? Okay. 
What? So thank you, Spotify. A little oh, while okay. ago. I thought you were going to talk about like charging your crystals in well, the full it, moon. It oh, is. Oh, great. Okay, good. This song was recommended to me. It was just a Libra full moon, Andrew. So Love it. By an artist, Nikki Fresh. Okay. Who, uh, she makes parent trap, which is like trap music for parents. That's like safe for kids. And it's all about like social issues. Hilarious. So the, the song is like the power of the gems start to cleanse, selenite, jade, onyx, lapis. It's hilarious. And I'm just like, what is this? So start looking into it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Google, Google. It's very Ken Nordine and I'm enjoying it. Burgundy. It's Nicole Richie. What? Who did a Quibi show about this new character, Nikki Fresh. And then I just found out that there's episodes because Roku bought all of the you Quibi know, shows. You know, maybe we were all wrong about Quibi. I think we might have been. I think we might have been. they were all wild. Wild. <laughs> and so expensive. It's so expensive. <laughs> Quibi was really just what the new Twilight Zone should have been. Sure. But so there's like eight episodes or whatever that's now on the Roku channel because they bought all of the Quibi shows. Okay. Just watched the the Little Gems episode, and it's amazing. Okay. So self-aware. I'm excited. I, I will show it to you. Everyone should go watch it. It's insane and amazing, and I'm obsessed with it. talk about her lapis lazuli? They go into a jewel, like a crystal sh stop, Very excited. crystal shop, and she's like, oh, well, what do you use this one for? It was so stupid. So stupid. I'm excited. Hilarious. I loved it. Conscious Trap is music for everybody. Teachers, rabbis, Virgos, but mostly moms and gays. Anyway, crystals, we sorry, talking, distressed crystals. Distressed crystals, yes, we were talking about that. Maddie is in her um, denim hoedown yes. outfit. <laughs> yeah. uh, I can't say I liked it, no. but it was on brand. It was um, a look, it was a... gray raccoon mullet that she's wearing. <laughs> um, was a choice. <laughs> it was a it was choice. A, it was a calculated choice. It was. I don't aesthetically care no, for it, but no. I, I, I... I understood it. I understood it, and yep. I'm like, you know what? Yes. She told a story on the runway yet again. She told a story in her chair. Yep. <laughs> and these two and a half seconds we saw of her walking in. What the fuck? Oh, I know. Why do they spend so little time? Give them a moment. This is your moment! Have it! Go ahead! The stage is here! They have to fucking make this look. Give them the time. I'm mad. Cut the fucking promo that we already watched. And then, yes, Jasmine and Daya fight again, yeah. and um, Daya breaks down a bit, has, yes. a, has a bit of a cry. Yeah. I was She's like having a full breakdown, and Rue's like, Daya, what's going on here? You have tears in your eyes. I'm like, what? Well, just that on the same show, Rue can be like, Drag Race fans are the greatest fans in the world. Drag Race fans are the best. They also sent death threats. Daya has gotten landslidedly the most unfair amount of hate in terms yeah. of death threats. Why aren't we addressing it's this? Like That's what I don't okay. understand. Like when Rue said we have the best fans, I rolled my eyes and was like, no, you don't. Right? <laughs> And that's what I just, I just don't understand. Is it because Rue's afraid that she doesn't want to like address a toxic fan base and and and, and, and address and it because they might they might well, be then angry? Because at the end, uh, after Carrie gave her talk, yeah. where she came down from the heavens and said, "Hello, my angels. I will now, you know, uh, sisterhood of the traveler estrogen." <laughs> I love it. Well, Queens, you are all my teachers. And Rue was like, you're all my children, or my teachers, oh, or whatever, right? right? Like, and I was like, oh, I'm apologizing all my teachers. retroactively for four years ago when I was pretty hateful about all this stuff. Yeah. But yeah. I do want her to host something fabulous some, because... Uh, some YouTube show where she, uh, you know... It's like a call-in line. Give me, like... <gasps> Ooh, it's Love Line. Yeah. You know, with, with Carrie Colby. Love it. Love that. Something like that. Mm -hmm. I think that would be actually really, really great. She could bring on guests. Yes, yeah. that like you know have expertise in certain like this week's topic is blah. Call we have, me. We have you've emailed us all of these questions, mm -hmm. or you're gonna Facetime us, or whatever the whatever fuck it, it is. is. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. I think that'd be really cool. Really cool. Lady Camden in this witchy uh, Miss of Avalon, Stevie Nicks. Yeah. I'm taking my crystals to charge them in the moon. You know, vibe. It's like evil witch. But you love it, you know? She was also sassy. Oh, she was real sassy. I love the... <laughs> Camden was on a high. Yeah. Well, probably because she's... I think she's second only to Willow in, in the fan 
Um, Last time I checked. That literally doesn't mean anything though, as Bimini taught us. It's gonna be splitting hairs at this point. Oh, 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 oh. oh fuck. Still mad. Still mad. It was like, Bimini, everyone else. <laughs> And then there was Angie. We had the whole Lady Camden, Cam, Cam, Cam Angie, Camji. The Kai Kai, Kai Kai with Camden. Oh my God! What well, Kai Kai me Kate? Kai Kai me Kate. Yeah. Angie looked beautiful. Purple. Oh, there's all different shades of purple. She had like a a boob beehive. It was a beehive of boobs. Oh my God! And I really liked it. It barely tripped off my topophobia or whatever it's okay, called great. with the, with the, the holes. dots because the holes exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. But. I did like it. It reminds me of, there's this um, Jonathan Adler thing that he does that does trip off my thing. Uh, but it's like all of these tits, you know, yeah. it, it was very yeah. that. Orion looked like, I don't know, vitamin C at a corporate retreat. Um, this was a little subdued for me. It, it was, was pretty. I kind of liked the idea of like, we're going to be sitting the whole time, so I'm going to be comfortable. Sure. Because who cares? Yeah. It was kind of fun. Oh, we didn't talk about Deja. Deja's outfit, I don't remember, but her wig was very Ursula the Sea Witch. Sure. Very, um, she had a, a finger wave tiara. And I was yeah. like, yes. It was, it was, it was, yes. it was, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I don't remember the outfit either, and it was hard to see her. I think there was tool yes. involved. Mm -hmm. But the, the wig. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. 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 She seemed like she was happy to be there. I think as, she always As is. usual. Love it. Dice. Dice. Deja. Damn it! Damn it! I did love Bosco and Lady Camden's fake nice fight. I think that you are incredibly talented, and I can't wait to be your friend for a really Go fucking off. long time. Yeah, you want to know? I fucking respect you. Oh yeah, I was very silly. I respect you. you. Yeah. I think you're a great person. Yeah. I think that was fun. It was that silly. Was a silly fun. Yeah. Because there wasn't any actual drama. Do we talk about Bosco's hair? Red? Yeah, with hawk. like the fans of and like the, the anarchy earrings. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, it was fun. I really liked her look. Again, yes. I was like, go dance for Bowser. Get him, <laughs> you know, the dance of the three snakes. Let's do this. <laughs> well, you know. You have aroused the three snakes. The library was open without much, um, right. you know, I was going to try and make like a overdue joke, but mm. I don't even want to bother to get there. For me, Maddie stole this reunion in regards to fun, funniness, um, sure. irreverence or irreverence, whatever. Irreverence, bringing the, bringing the silly, bringing the jokes, yeah. you know, when she was like, they were tooting and booting, and she was talking about how June's outfit was so bad, it's an OSHA violation. That's the ultimate boot. Not only did it take her out, it almost took me out during the lip sync. <laughs> that is not just a garment, that's an OSHA violation. She almost <laughs> slipped on it. That's right. Oh my god, I really laughed at that. And like, Orion's trying to read what, some piece of the hut joke or whatever. You want to try that one again? I'm good. <laughs> okay. Orion, how's your last name going to be story? You can't even read. Maddie just kept being like, bam, 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 playing, you know, like zinging them in there yeah. and stuff. I yeah. thought Maddie, for me, was the funniest part of the reunion. Probably. Like the funniest yeah. part, you know? Yeah, yeah. So uh, there was that. <laughs> I'm glad that we combined it with this episode. We're oh, moving boy. it along. We're moving it along. We got the finale next week. Yep. Uh, Live in Vegas. And hopefully we crown a winner because I'm, I'm not sure if there's going to, I feel like it's going to be a tie. It's going to be a three-way tie. <laughs> Oh no, it'll be a five-way tie. She's yes, she's just gonna, yep, it's a hundred, everyone gets 20 grand. You're all a winner, baby. <laughs> you check every box for demographics, <laughs> collectively. No one will be mad at me, everyone oh wins. God. Oh my god. You all get a participation chocolate bar. <laughs> Cheers to the winners, baby. Yeah, all 17 of them. <laughs>